Hello everyone and welcome to Piano Avia, room 14222. All right, so as you walk in, you've got the co-hooks there, very, very similar, if not exactly the same to Iona. The, the layout and the decor and everything, so very, very nice indeed. So we've just, just basically been on the ship about an hour or so, went straight to the buffet and just got something to eat while the rooms were ready. Then we just had the call. So we thought we'd come straight down. So yeah, so there we go. So it's all ready. So we've just, so hey, we just walked in. You've got the nice mat there on the bed, ready for the cases to start unpacking. We haven't got the cases yet. They're uh, due shortly. Yeah, as I say, it's very, very similar. Very, the layout is uh, as I own her. So as you come in, now what you do is when you check in, just for those who, who are not sure or don't know, um, when you check in in the main terminal now, um, you don't get your cruise card. You basically just show your boarding pass, show your passports. Um, they stamp those, so you need to show them quite a lot as you go through there and security before you get on the ship and everything else. And your cruise cards are actually in an envelope. So they're in that envelope there. And then they're actually tucked in the little bit just by the side of your door. So you open those up, you've got your cruise cards and you've got your little welcome thing there with all your little map um, of the ship and the layout. And that's all waiting for you when you get to the cabin. So yeah, so there you go. You've got the tea and coffee making facilities. A little drawer here. It's got your milk and biscuits and coffee. Like that, so you can uh, obviously take these home if you don't want to eat them, just gather them up, put them in your case, and take them home. Uh, there's your Horizon magazine and all your information there in room menus, room service menus. Um, there's the balcony, we'll go out on there in a minute. I'll just show you the cabin for now. Now, for any of you wondering. Well, a modern ship like this, surely USBs are the way forward rather than plugs. Because obviously, look, I've just plugged that in there for charging phones and tablets and things. The USB plugs are actually under the lamps. So there's your USB. So yeah, they're not obvious as soon as you walk in, but uh, they're there for your charging. And then going round here, what we'll do, we'll have a quick look in the bathroom. Ah, need the cruise card to have a look at the bathroom. So I'll just grab the cruise card. You just need to put your cruise card in there and then that activates all the lights and the electrics and everything else. So I'll just grab that now, put that in, and then we'll just show you the bathroom. So there we go, there's your, right, before we go in the bathroom, that's your heating controls there. Sorry about the flickering. It's just the way the frame rate works. Um, I showed you this on Iona as well. If you want to check out that vlog, I'll put a link in that in the description down below. Um, the Iona. So yeah, as you go into the bathroom, so these are absolutely superb, these bathrooms. Quite roomy actually for, for a cruise ship, or well, for us anyway, we haven't done many cruises, but um, the ones that we have done, this bathroom and the Iona bathroom are Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, as you come in here, so you've got a nice walk-in shower, and it's the White Company soaps and uh, shampoos. Or somewhere to put your bits and bobs. So you've got the shelving there that you can lay stuff out on. So you've got all this shelving underneath here as well. One thing I will mention about the bathroom. Um, I did see it on someone else's vlog, but I thought I'd mention it as well, is the provision of a shaver point. Um, they haven't actually got one in the bathroom. Now, I will have a look around the cabin and see if there's one secreted somewhere else. But as of yet, obviously, well, from me looking, there is no uh, shaver point for plugging in shavers. And also, if you've got like an electric toothbrush that needs charging as well. So it might be worth just getting the little plug, uh, shaver plug, just chuck that in your bag and uh, bring that with you as well. Um, just a little tip there for you, because they haven't got one. So if you've got like a Phillips shaver or Remington, anything that just needs the two pin, um, they haven't actually got one in this room that I can see at the moment. I will correct that if I see one later while we're hunting around and unpacking, I will let you know. But as yet, 
there isn't one. So please just remember to put your, your plug in for your two pin appliances. Okay, right, so let's go and have a look on the balcony. So yeah, as you can see, plenty of room. Nice balcony, I so say this is on floor 14. We've got two chairs and a little table there. I'm still very busy getting everything loaded up. There's still lots of places to come on. Also as well, um, with this one, there's two entrances onto the ship. Um, we come on that one there, and then there's one just a bit further up towards the back of the ship. So that is P&O Arvia cabin tour. And I'll be uploading some more vlogs as well with the rest of the ship. I'll be looking at sort of the restaurants and doing a bit of a ship tour and things like that. So keep an eye out for those, they'll be following shortly. Yeah. So we'll catch up with you soon.